Alright. Breakfast sandwiches. We basically have, you know, the fundamental bacon, egg, and cheese, sausage, egg, and cheese, ham, egg, and cheese. Alright, all three of those are made on a Cuban bread. The Cuban bread is going to be pre cut down to about a four inch piece of bread. Alright, if you're using the end piece, I'd like to have you take just the end knob off. Alright, just take that little piece off and I'll give you a nice end on it. Alright, just slice it open. And you can go all the way through because it does work better when you take it all the way through. Give it about five seconds in the micro. Alright. We're going to change how this is functioning right now because right now it's causing people to go back and forth. Alright, we're going to get another table in this corner. That's where the microwave will be. So whoever's on food, you can stand here and do everything and then pass it down to the next person. Because during rushes, I don't want one person trying to run back and forth and do everything. One person stays here. We've got a shelf that I'm getting up here. The ticket will be up here. You'll make your sandwich, pass it to the next person who will grill it or package it and get it out the door. All right. So right now we're kind of having to run back and forth a little bit. All right. The uh, the eggs are fresh fried eggs that we're frying ourselves during the uh, afternoon. We try to do them ahead of time because if we're actually frying them right there on the spot, it takes them off. All right. Um, so we're frying them ahead of time, storing them in the fridge. All you got to do is microwave them a little bit. Can somebody give me a plate? All right. We're not going to make all three variations of this sandwich. You know, it's going to be kind of crazy. But bottom line, guys, take your sausage patty, take an egg patty. Do not stack them and throw them in the microwave. It'll take longer. All right. Just put one sausage patty on the plate, bacon, or I mean an egg patty. If we're doing bacon, it's one strip of bacon, cut it in half, put it on there, microwave it until it's hot, then you stack it, then you put your piece of cheese on it, give it another 10 seconds, melt that cheese, and then you're going to put it on the bread. How long did you microwave the meat and the egg? It's about 30 seconds. There's a 30 second button on there, hit it, you know. Um, sometimes, obviously, if somebody orders four sandwiches, you're going to do all four at one time. You're not going to do one, give it to the customer, and come back and make another one, which but I have seen somebody do that. You have more stuff in the microwave, you have to microwave. Exactly, and that's what I was getting at. It's the more you have on your plate, the longer it's going to take. If I got four sausage patties and four egg patties in there, it's probably going to take a good minute and a half, two minutes. All right. Typically, you're going to be doing two to three at a time. All right, so put a couple sausage patties, a couple egg patties, get them hot, and, and I mean get them hot. I don't want them warm. You put your finger on it, you want it hot. All right, it's got, it's got to get up to the temperature because I don't want to be handing out cold sandwiches. All right, so in this case, we're going to toss these in the microwave. Four number stuff, right, Kevin? Yeah. You guys know that when you close, everything goes into new pans, all right, at night. You want to take every one of these pans out, take the stuff that's in it, put it into a fresh pan. One of the ways, uh, can you give me one of those, Chris? All right, so this has got getting hot over here. And again, you won't have to go back and forth there. You know, just put your hand in, feel it. That needs a little bit more. Stack it. Put your cheese in it. On it. And then you can put your bread in there. Yeah, but I can't see from here. Is it uh, egg and then the patty and then the cheese? Yeah, the cheese patty. always on top, guys. Egg always on top. When you go to McDonald's, quarter pound of cheese. Breakfast sandwiches. Breakfast, breakfast, breakfast sandwiches, yeah. Oh, yeah. You never, never got cheese on the bottom of a quarter pounder. It's always on top. 
but it, it varies from sandwiches. But on the breakfast sandwiches, cheese always on top. Yeah, on the Give your bread about you know ten seconds. You don't need it bubbling and falling off because when the customer, by the time you put this together and give it to the customer and he gets to his plate table or he leaves, it's going to be more than adequately melted. Because sometimes people put it in there too long and it's bubbling and it's literally just kind of evaporates, disappears because it falls off. All right. So you want to. Give it enough to get it good and soft. Scoop it up, put it on your bread, put your top on. All right? And that's that's a good way. Now, the way we're, we're changing how we package this, and I'm still playing with it a little bit, but we're not going to put this in one of those big styrofoam containers to go, and, and you know, they're looking at it going, what the heck? Chris, exactly. Chris says the, uh, the one pound paper bag should be perfect for it. You mean the four pound? Oh, yeah. Or five pound, I mean, because these are four pounds. Yeah. Those. Let me just. It's like a race track or something. He said we might want to get a tape dispenser to close it up and wrap it in, too. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to look. At, actually, what I want to do, I was looking at the other day, is a butcher block. They got 12 by 12, 12 foot by 900 foot butcher block. It's cheaper than a pack of that stuff. And then we can make it bigger, whatever we want. But the only cutter they have is an 18 inch cutter. So I'm trying to find a 12 inch cutter. But basically, put your sandwich in there, guys. Wrap it up. Put it in the bag. And it's out the door. We used to serve our breakfast sandwiches with grapes. I'm still trying to figure out an alternate replacement for that because the problem with grapes is, is that we get them in, they, they're, half the time they come in, they, sometimes they're moldy, they're just consistency, and we're throwing a lot of them out. So I'm looking at some other alternatives to go along with a breakfast sandwich. Could be a, a, like a hash brown or something, I don't know. We haven't figured it out yet, but I'm working on that. That's it. Put a napkin in every bag, ready to go. Right. Not. It's just from here though, you just throw that on a plate? Yeah, put it on a plate, put a napkin on the plate, you know, make it look good, be done with it. But I'm looking at, you know, some other alternatives for the grapes. grapes so that's look basically, so good on that plate. but yeah, but you know, just like the pickles, we're throwing out a uh, whole bunch of raisins all over the floor. So that's, uh, that's, that's basically good. a breakfast sandwich out the door, all right? You already got